what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i wanted to share with you all why i chose to pursue an lpn over a bachelor's of science in nursing so i know a lot of people that are pursuing a nursing career um, come to this point where they're trying to figure out what route to take and what's the best route for them and honestly it just depends on your situation at the time and you really can't let anyone tell you what's the best uh, route for you to take yes it's always good to get advice but only you know your situation so i decided that the lpn program would be best for me because of well for several reasons but the first reason being the time commitment the one year time commitment really works out well for me also be able to make a decent entry level salary and hopefully depending on the company that i work for i can also get tuition benefits which is always a plus because uh, student loans are a real thing and also because i have my license that will give me the opportunity to take my time while i am taking my prerequisite classes either for the rn or the bsn program um i won't have to feel like i'm overwhelming myself and trying to hurry up and try to take as many prerequisites as i can in one semester so that i can hurry up and apply to the the nearest like deadline date for the program and you know when you do that you risk not being able to give your all into those classes and getting A's, which once again is very pertinent when you are applying to these competitive programs. So after getting my LPN, once I decide to go back to school, if I decide to go back to school, I will have the option to do the LPN to our RN bridge or if there are like no bridge, because I have, I have heard that, um, there aren't really a lot of like LPN to RN bridge programs like they're kind of like few far and in between. I still have the option if I can find a program that does offer that. And even if a school does not offer a bridge program, I have seen in both RN and BSN requirements that if you have your LPN that can give you extra points on your competitive score, which obviously every little point counts when it comes to these programs and based on my experience nursing schools are pretty competitive especially if you live in a highly populated area like i do and lastly the reason i decided to choose the lpm program over the bsn program is because if once i'm done getting my lpn if i decide to stop there then i'm still a nurse which was the end goal from the jumps. So from what I've seen and heard, nursing students, regardless if you're an LPN, RN, BSN, um, MSN, the students are in a cohort, meaning they start together and they end together. And if you drop out, I know it depends on the school, but from what I hear, at least at my school, if you drop out of the program in the middle of the program, or if you get kicked out because your GPA is too low or, you know, for whatever, um, if you decide to come back into the program, you have to start completely over because you dropped out of that cohort. Um, I've seen some schools say that you can kind of pick up where you left off, um, which is a good thing. But for me, I would rather do the year and get my LPN so that it's something that I can have rather than doing my prereqs, um, applying for the program, hoping that I get in, and then... Like I still have like what two years left and what if something happens and I get out or end up having to leave the program within those years. Um, it, I won't have anything to fall back on really. I would really just have to start over or pick up where I left off and keep going to school. But I, I still wouldn't be a nurse. Like I still wouldn't be in my career and working my way up. Another thing is with the LPN because it's only a one year time commitment. Um, you can find that you don't even like being a nurse because you could just be so caught up with the idea of being a nurse and just like, oh my God, I just know once I become a nurse, this, that, and that is going to happen or I'm going to feel this way. And then once you actually get that job and you have to start going there every day, you can find out like, like I, I don't like this. I, I don't want to continue this. I want to do something else. I want to go elsewhere. Um, like you could completely just want to get rid of healthcare altogether. And so, you know, you haven't spent a whole lot of time and a whole lot of money, um, you know, by getting your LPN and it could be the opposite where you are just absolutely in love with being an LPN, but you find that it's not as challenging for you or, you know, you just want to continue to climb up the ladder, then you have the option to do so. And 
another great point is once you get your license, you can apply to get it. Um, I don't really know the word, but like you can get it like transferred to like different states. So if you have to up and move or something happens, you can go to that state, you know, get your license, you know, go through the process and all of that. But you'll still be able to get a job and then um, maintain your pursuit in your nursing career. So those are the reasons that I chose the LPN program over the BSN program first. I hope this video helps you if you are in the same situation. If you feel that getting your LPN is what is best for you, that is the decision that you need to make and don't let anyone talk you out of it or make you feel less than because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to get up and go to work and pay those student loans back. So just think about that and let me know what you decide. Let me know if this video helped you into making your decision or if you feel more confident about being an LPN or choosing LPN. I thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next one.